Hello and welcome to this session by Taslet Factory, where we'll show you how to put away items in the warehouse using the mobile WMS solution. We're using the advanced warehouse functionality in NAV in this session, together with the solution. And this session deals with a relatively simple process. And let's go to the warehouse to explain the process. Uh, we have ordered some items, they have arrived at the warehouse, and they have been registered as received using the solution and the warehouse receipt in NAV. We're not using the put-away worksheet on this location, uh, so, and that means that a warehouse put-away was created when we posted the warehouse receipt. And it's the warehouse put-away we'll be using in this session. So in our warehouse, the items are at the receiving zone, ready to be placed on bins in the picking zone. But first, let's go to NAV and check the order. Click on put-away. We have the order number 77. And here you can see the lines. We'll just sort the lines uh, by shelf or bin. And now you can see here that we have uh, a couple of items uh, without any tracking and an item that requires lot tracking. We will take the items from the receiving zone and place them on the expected bins here in the picking zone. Okay, let's go to the mobile device and press the put away functionality. And here you can see we have the exact same orders as we saw in F. We'll select the order number 77. And here we have the lines sorted by bin, you can see. And we have the expected bins here where we'll place the items. Okay, so let's start the work process by scanning the first item here. And the system tells me to scan the expected bin. And with the solution, we're able to validate the quantity by scanning the next item. So let's do that. We'll scan the expected bin. And this was the item that requires lot tracking. So we'll scan the lot number. And we will validate again the quantity by scanning the last item. Okay, so now we'll perform an unexpected move. With the solution, in the standard setup, we are able to choose another bin if we want to place the items there instead. For example, if there's no more room at the expected bin. And this is what we'll do in this session here. So instead of scanning the expected bin number three here, we'll scan another bin. And there's a warning here, but we'll just press yes because we want to use the other bin. And we'll place 10 items here. Okay, now you can see here on the last line that we have not completed the line yet. We have just split the line and placed 10 items on uh, the bin number two. And to complete the line, we'll just scan the item again. And this time we'll scan the expected bin. And the system automatically calculates the rest of the items and we'll just accept by pressing the check mark. And the application asks me, well, post the order and I'll press yes. And the order posted successfully. And you can see the order that we worked on just disappeared from the mobile device. Okay, let's just return to the menu. So now we have completed the registrations with the mobile device. And let's go to NAV2, just check the order again. And here we have the orders from before. And if we try to click refresh, you can see that the order number 77 disappears because we have completed the registrations with the mobile device. And if we go to registered documents and registered putaways, and just find the order here at the bottom, and just to show you, you can see that here on the last lines here, this is where we split the lines with the mobile device and place the items in another bin than the expected bin, number two and number three here. All right, so that was how you can put away items in the warehouse using the mobile WMS solution for Dynamics NAV. Thanks for watching.